-hmm. Now, I don't know if you know this, but they've decided to come out with new emojis mm -hmm. um, because, hey, things are changing. And so the emojis need to change, too. Uh, and so the good people at the emoji producing factory mm -hmm. uh, have decided to take on uh, a new task, Stu. Yeah, well, I know they had the pregnant man, Yeah, which was a nice one. Because, you know, people don't realize this, but men can be pregnant. No, yeah. men cannot become pregnant. Oh, Just, yes, they can. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Uh, no, they yeah, can. Basically, nope. the way that a man becomes pregnant is they are a woman, and then we call them a man. Oh, and so okay. then right. they can become pregnant. Right. But a biological man, no matter you know how he uh, you know changes his uh, his parts, um, can't have a baby. And anybody mm. like Stu who's trying to propagate that dangerous medical disinformation. Just want to point that out. Dangerous medical misinformation. This is the road we're on. This uh, is the road we're on. They will, I know. They will, and we're far down this road, by the way. I mean, the fact that they're releasing a pregnant male, which we all, we all, look, we can all talk about this stuff however you want, but the bottom line is that men cannot have children. That is a very basic fact I have of children. the human anatomy. I have children. Uh, you did not give birth to any children. Feels like I did. People always say, like, we're pregnant. Now she's pregnant. All right? You're not anything. You, you, you spent eight, <laughs> eight, probably eight, 18 <laughs> seconds doing something. It's over. Your part of this is pretty much over. You'll spend the rest of your life probably... Uh, screwing the kid up uh, as they grow up, but you're you're wow. She's, wow, she's somebody the, <laughs> had some daddy issues. <laughs> no, Holy all. cow! <laughs> uh, uh, but it's like that, I've always, that, that term is hilarious. We're pregnant. Like, yeah, I, know, I, I got not. that you had a small role. I said, in it. She's yeah. the one doing everything. What I are know. you doing? I know. I, we, we have children. That's accurate. Yes, of course. We're pregnant. No, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. Yeah, I mean, and look, we're glad. Look. Half fifty percent of mm -hmm. us are glad we're not pregnant. Now, if you look at our physiques, we look pregnant. Yes, and the male pregnant thing actually would work for us as an emoji because yes. we look like we're yes. pregnant. Exactly right, Stu. That's our new logo. <laughs> You and I, as emojis, pregnant. <laughs> yeah. It works. It works. And that will keep us... They can't ban us. That, right. If so we're the pregnant men, we decided, they can't be banned off We of decided media. that we were going to help the emoji people mm -hmm. uh, and come up with some new emojis as well. For instance, I don't want to... I don't want to get somebody's pronouns wrong, and they don't always announce their pronouns. Mm. So to make sure I don't misgender somebody, um, I'm suggesting a new 99 uh, shaped uh, emoji. Uh, that way, you know, I just put that instead of Mr. Miss, you know, you, they, whatever it is, you just put the 99 emoji up there. So this what covers the 99 genders? Is, is that the idea? Yeah, now we might have to change that as the genders keep going up. Um, but, yeah, maybe uh, 999 would be a safer thing. Probably. Because we probably, probably have a good month or two before it hits 999 genders. Yeah, now I've come up with an, another, uh, and we're going to be tweeting all of these out uh, so you'll be able to see them. Um, I came up with another one because we, we know that CRT we told you yesterday the definition of a word that you probably have never heard, praxis. It's a uh, it's an old word, but it was really it's really used by uh, communists and uh, people who believe in Karl Marx. I mean, I mean, I believe in Karl Marx. I just don't believe in his writings. But um, the uh, uh, praxis means putting it into action, and that's what's happening to our schools. They are making activists out of our schools. Uh, and so, you know, when we're talking about our kids, I think it's easy just to use a just a little emoji there, which is uh, looks to be. How would you describe that? Stu? Uh, an angry child, an angry baby holding a BLM sign. Yeah. <laughs> so there's your new emoji for child activist. Mm. Um, now, we all have complained from time to time uh, that we've lost our heroes, you know. Uh, all of their, who are the heroes? And so we thought we would make the politically correct emoji of our new heroes. Uh, and uh, here they are. Uh, they're holding hands. There's, uh, there's three of them there. Uh, one is uh, Castro. One is uh, <laughs> President Z. And the other is Maduro. Uh, and they're holding hands with halos over their head. So I... Totally appropriate. And, we'll, and this, the good thing about using these emojis, you will never get banned using them. These no. will be completely approved, as long as no. you don't use them in some sarcastic way. Who would do that? 
I hope nobody. In I, this well, I mean, I know this isn't sarcastic. We're not doing this in a sarcastic way. Mm. We mean it. We mean it. I would love to have these emojis. Can we? Is there a way to make this emoji package so we can actually have people use them as emojis? I don't know. I will say I've never in my life used an emoji um, for Ooh. any reason. <laughs> I do. I, I use I the guy. Think, at least. I use the guy with his tongue out mm-hmm. and his eyes kind of popped out, cross-eyed. I use that one a lot. Uh, I use mm-hmm. the one where he's just got big wide eyes. And he's like, "What?" I use that one a lot. Well, I had this thing where I learned uh, growing up um, words. Uh, so yeah. I use those to describe no, the things I'm talking about. No. It's a crazy idea. The one I find the most the the most active, at least for me, is the salsa dancer. You really? seen the yeah? Have you seen that? They have a I lady not. salsa dancer and a man salsa dancer, and I use that all the time. Really, all the time. I can't. Just so t- many. <laughs> I can't tell you how many. Is it like, hey, honey, bring me the and then salsa? Exactly. Yeah, okay. It's like, hey, honey, you want to salsa dance oh, tonight? Okay. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought you were looking for condiments, but I was I was apparently mistaken. No, no, no. That's the main use for okay. it. That's the main use for it. Uh, what the hell is that? Why do they have a salsa dancer? Why? Who's yeah, using that? I don't know. I don't know the point. I mean, people think these things are cute, and I, I, no, I, don't. I don't understand. It just... It, a dumbing know. down of our society in such a massive way that I I don't. Well, let me just tell you this. Um, you know who you can who can really help, who can really help, and not dumb down our society is the government, and that's why we have a new uh, government uh, emoji here to help. Uh, <laughs> it's just a uh, yellow faced uh, guy in dark sunglasses and a and a needle. Mm. Uh, so he's got the vaccine all ready to go. He's here to help. Coming door to door? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then, of course, if you want anybody to take you seriously, you're going to need this emoji. This is your vaccine passport emoji. Uh, so you can just label that and you're like, look, I can come into this theater. Here's my passport. You know what I mean? Exciting. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, this one was inspired by uh, by uh, Joe Biden. Uh, because, uh, you know, I, I, of course, use Latinx all the time when I'm talking about, excuse me for saying this, Latinos. Um, now, uh, we uh, is it confirmed Latinx? I thought it was Latinx. Is it both? How does that work? Well, it is Latinx, um, mm-hmm. but apparently Joe Biden is so hip uh, that he came up with his own way of pronouncing it. And, and here he is. Listen. It's awful hard as well to get. Latinx vaccinated as well. Latinx. Ah, Latinx. That's a good point. So we have a new Latinx uh, <laughs> emoji. It's a tissue box with a sombrero on it. The new <laughs> Latinx. You know, that one may get you banned. That one potentially might actually yeah, get yeah. you banned, but it's still really funny. Uh, let me go for the uh, peaceful protester. Um, if we have the peaceful protester, uh, he's a black uh, block rioter with a uh, raised <laughs> fist, uh, Antifa uh, banded, uh, a branded riot shield, uh, and his face is masked. Uh, so oh, that's that's, good. that's the peaceful protester emoji. And not spreading COVID. Uh, exactly right. Because they're wearing the mask. Exactly right. And uh, let me just show you now the journalist. Um, there's the emoji for the journalist. Um, that seems to be very hmm. similar to... The peaceful protester and oh, yeah, they're member. The, oh yeah, they're exactly the same. Okay, but uh, just depends on which context you use. Uh, and then here is the college student. Um, you have the college student emoji Wait. Uh, right there. Hmm? Again, that looks exactly like the journalist and the Antifa member. I know it's hard to tell them apart, isn't it? It is.